Hi everyone, it's Lisa Cronin from It's the Little Things in Card Making. And I'm making a card for my son. And I wanted to show you something that um, I thought was very cool. So I'm making another acetate window card. And I decided that I was, I was going, I had a design in mind, but I changed my mind. And I decided to go with fireworks because it's a celebration. And I did what I've done in past videos where I've stamped the image and then I've gone over it with the foil quill pen. So we're using them again today and put them onto acetate and they do stay on acetate and it really looks so pretty. Um, so you can use them on acetate as well. But in the process of doing this, I'm going to do something with this one. Now, I don't know if it's because the acetate is thick or if it's because um, it's the foil. I'm not sure. But when I put it down and did my, my foiling, it didn't seem to want to come through onto the acetate very well. So what I did was I, I did my, my tracing of my image that I stamped down. And this stamp, by the way, is a beautiful stamp from the ton. This is the stamp here, stamp set from the ton. And it's, it's a great stamp set. So I did that and do you see not much came off and I again this is not we are memory keepers foil but I was like wow you know I don't remember this happening before so I'm going to go over this again I'm going to show you and I'm not going too fast now I'm going kind of slow so I guess it's not the acetate, it has to be the foil, or just maybe my pressure. But what I realized is, by tracing it onto the foil, I gave myself an, the image. So, let's let's use this one for example. Ooh, no, we don't want to do that. We're going to use this small one here and I am going to tape this down so it stays in place okay so now I'm going to go over it with the foil pen and I'm putting a little pressure down not a lot and I'm getting kind of a, a crappy transfer I'm going to leave the foil exactly where it is and now I'm going to go over it on the foil and I'm using a lighter touch I know where I have to be because I see that image I made through the tracing paper and now I'm getting a much better image so I I thought to myself okay not all foils are the same qualities are different and you know it's like anything else so this probably is not as good as the foil that we got from We Are Memory Keepers. So I just, you know, I wanted to tell you, if you're not getting a great, if you're not getting a great image when you foil down through the tracing paper, keep your foil exactly where you tried transferring and then use your pen and go over it directly on your foil and you'll get a much better transfer. So I wanted to show that because I had, you know, I had wanted to do this and I was saying to myself, but why aren't I getting a good transfer? I don't understand. It didn't happen as much like with the silver, but I still went over it directly on the foil because it was a better, um, it was a better impression. I did get a better transfer. So I wanted to bring that up because I thought that would be helpful if you weren't getting the, the kind of image that you were looking for. 
using the tracing paper. Now I want to show you something that's really cool. This is the inside of the card. This is the outside of the card. Look at this. I mean, it's silver. So the back of your foiling will always give you a silver finish. And since it's a window card and you're going to see through it, you see through both sides. So this is colorful and pretty. And this is more, you know, um, it, it's going to match better with my guitar. And remember this guitar? I didn't want a lot of colors um, up against this guitar because I wanted the guitar to take center stage and I didn't want to detract from it. But then when I realized that, oh my gosh, I can get color on one side and I can get silver on the other, I had to, I had to do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the front, the card front on. This is already adhered. And I already have my my tape on the back. Just want to make sure it's it's right. That it's I don't have it upside down. I need to make sure that there's enough of the card front to fit onto the card base. So this is an easy way of doing a window and doing a frame or making it the size of the card, which is what we're going to be doing now. If you just have a piece that's bigger than the card base, if it's bigger than the card base, we can always cut it down after we mount it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the edge of the card front. The window part of the card front is going to adhere nicely because I put it right up into the edge. But for now, I know that I want the edge of my card to be secure as well. I'm going to be careful by that acetate. I'm just going to go around just the edge of the card. Now I'm going to mount it. And again, I'm going to double check, make sure it's big enough, because I think if I put it the other way, it won't be. So I'm just going to lay it down. And it's always easier to have something dark if you're working on something light. So now I can, I can see that window a lot better. Hope you can too. And I'm going to lay it down so that the window card on the card front is meeting the window on the card base. And because it's double stick tape, usually wherever you put it down, that's where it's going to remain. So now I'm going to take my card, I'm going to turn it over, and I am going to trim off the excess. Doing it this way is so much easier than trying to take two pieces that are the same size, cut the square in exactly the same place, so when you When you lay it down, it's a little more difficult. Doing it this way, I'm hoping I'm making sense. Doing it this way is easier. And I can have cleaner cuts if I use my, my trimmer. I just didn't want to put something else on my desk, so I'm using a scissor. 
Now this is going to be folded. And I'm going to burnish it. And now I'm going to cut the top of the card. Now this ensures that that window is exactly where it needs to be. And it is so much easier to do it this way. And I'm, I'm hoping I make sense. So I wanted the window to be a little wonky. Ugh. Ugh, do you see what I did? Okay. I'm going to have to get the trimmer out. And we're going to have to cut it a little bit off the bottom. There's no way, there is no way to fix that. So, this is what we have to do. And now, of course, we have to do the back as well. I'm just making sure I'm lined up. Okay. All righty. Now I'm going to place my guitar directly onto the acetate. And I've already put some score tape on the back. So I'm going to take off the release paper. And lay that down. And remember how I said that the back side, and you can see this back side because I had taken it off of the original design. So the back side has to look as nice as the front. So what I've done is I fussy cut out another guitar in white to match the inside of the card. Now this is going to go right about there. And then I'm just going to press down. Now the inside of the card looks really ugly, right? What I did, and I, hopefully I can find it now. Oh my gosh. It's like the other video all over again. Here it is. Alright, so I fussy cut out the back of the guitar to put it in the window and to hide all the workings. And then I said, yeah, but wait, you know, it looks so plain, it just doesn't do anything. So I decided to put a message on the back of the guitar. And it says, just a note to say you rock. And I, I, I thought it was the coolest thing, because now we have the colors. We have the colors, and it's not clashing with anything because it's it's black and white, they're all neutrals. So I had silver embossed, just a note to say you rock, black embossed the, the little notes, and when you turn it this way, it's a totally different card. So I thought that was really kind of cool. And so now I'm going to adhere the guitar, which I dropped. And I'm going to adhere it with double stick tape and then all I have to do is stamp my inside my inside greeting so put that there get my really one eighth inch score tape
and I'm going to mount this behind the other one. You know, why is it when, when I'm making a video, the simplest things? The simplest things. Come on now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. The simplest things. And this is going to back... all the workings on the back of that guitar. I just thought it was so cool to have those two different colors of fireworks. How cool is it? I just thought it was very cool. So now on the inside, I'm going to be stamping and I have to bring black in because I put black on those notes. So I have my memento ink here and I am going to stamp it by hand. And I've never used this stamp before, so I'm just gonna stamp off. Oh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to stamp this behind the guitar. For some reason, I'm not getting a good application of ink here. So, when I die cut out the guitar, I had my... I had my negative piece to use as kind of like a mask so I know where I have to stamp so I'm going to line this up underneath and this is going to tell me where to stamp that sentiment That looks pretty good. Okay. I'll give this a minute. Cute, right? It's off center too. Very cute. Now I'm going to stamp happy birthday and I'm going to stamp it kind of where the arm is on that guitar. So let me bring this back in. going to be a little bigger than this mask so I'm just going to move the mask you know what I should double check make sure that the guitar arm is in place N no the neck it's not called an arm it's called a neck See, I knew it was a body part of some sort okay so this is going to be going into that area and I think I'm probably better off if I take a pencil and I just mark it slightly so I know it may show a little bit because it's a little thicker but 
I am just going to place it down. How cute is that? I think it's adorable. I think it's really cute. When this dries, I will erase those marks. Let's see, how do we do? Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Very cute. Anyway, this is Jamie's card. And I really like it. And I hope you really like it too. I think it's kind of special. Don't you think it's special? Wishing you a happy day and a happy heart. So like I said, I'm going to erase those pencil marks. I think it, it looks great. And um, I think he's going to like it. So that's it for this video. I hope I made sense. I, I don't know if I said it, but my allergies are bothering me. And um, they kind of get the best of me. But I'm feeling pretty good today. So I thought I would do this. Anyway, I want to say thank you for stopping in. Thank you for your comments, your likes. Thank you for subscribing. You have no idea how that inspires me, how much I want to do more because of it. Um, I love being helpful. I love giving advice. I like sharing what I know. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's Jamie's card. Okay. Thank you very much for stopping in. And we'll see you again really soon. And until then, remember... It's the little things in card making. Bye now.